when there's trouble in paradise, our next guest is the man to call. His new reality series finds him traveling the globe to save struggling vacation spots from ruin. I like that gig. I like it. It's yeah. called Resort Rescue. It premieres October 7th on the Travel Channel. And joining us now to discuss the show is host and global hospitality consultant, Shane Green. Hi, guys. Okay. Hey. First of all, what is a global hospitality consultant? Second of all, how do you land a gig like this? Do you travel the globe to fix broken resorts? Yeah, it's an amazing job. Now, it starts with the accent, though. Oh, yeah. So oh. once you've got an accent, you've got the global part get down already. And where's so, your accent from? From New Zealand. Uh, so, so, see, see, so, yeah. so global's already down packed, but uh, we're fortunate that we head around the world mm -hmm. working with hotels, hotel owners, and they bring us in to turn them around. So hospitality, which is for the longest time had this foundation of great customer service, right. We're actually getting brought into a lot of other industries, so it really branches out where hospitality is getting a lot of play. So it's now, pretty I, cool. hear, I hear the accent, bronze. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 keep, keep it going. We'll I think Lola likes it. Bronze. So, where did the idea for this show come from? Did you have a horrible hotel experience or something? No, you know what? That's the, where the company came from. But mm -hmm. Travel Channel came to us. Mm -hmm. They saw hotels as being such an important element in the hotel business, mm -hmm. and they already have a great show, Hotel Impossible, which has done extremely well. So, they saw this as kind of the next step. We saw this as an opportunity to really focus on the human element of resorts, which is really what the show is all about. Well, let's take a look and then discuss some more, okay? Great, perfect. All right. So guys, I want to watch this guest as they head over to the motel. Right off the bat, I think this is a horrible arrival experience. But a lack of signage, a lack of lights, Quite honestly, as a single traveler, particularly a female, it could be quite scary, it can be intimidating. Yeah, I think we need to do some repair work on some of my lights that are out there. It looks like she's going to go through the pool, so oh, no. going through the pool is probably not where she's meant to be. No. She's taken the direct path pretty much to her room. So let's just watch how she does. Oh my gosh. Guys, can you focus in on that? Her bag is floating in the pool. Ew. Oh, no, she didn't. No. She did. <laughs> oh, That's my God. Gross. Imagine that for your start of your resort experience. Yeah. Oh, well, one of the things I love is all the hidden cameras you guys put everywhere so you can really see what's going on. Does it take the hotel owners a lot of convincing on your part to get them to allow you to put these cameras everywhere? Surprisingly not. Actually, one of the most exciting parts is, is that they're very excited. Putting the hidden cameras in really allows them to take a step back from their business. Now, a lot of these independent owners, they work day in, day out around the clock. They're, they're working on the front line. To peel them off and get them to see how their resort really runs when they're not around is pretty cool. And once they go through the experience, they're hooked. Mm. Really? Okay, so how bad does it get? I mean, <laughs> a suitcase in a pool, that's pretty gross, but what's the grossest thing you've encountered? Uh, well, maybe not on the show. We actually did a property in China a few years ago. Uh. Went into this beautiful resort, absolutely mm. gorgeous. Uh, nothing wrong with that out the front. We walked out the back. First thing I saw was a big rat. Uh. The whole back of the house was a dumping ground. Now, how does that apply to the show? Uh. Some of our hotel owners, they're a little hoarding, mm. and they have to get rid of it. It's amazing. Cleanliness, one of the most important elements to focus on for a resort. Is well, that one of the mistakes that a lot of resorts make, that they're not as clean as they need to be? You know what? That shouldn't be a mistake. That's right. kind of an unacceptable right. element. I would say a mistake is something that you do without realizing it. In mm. my books, you have to be clean. Mm. So that's not what I would call a mistake. Yeah. The biggest area they fail is to focus on the first 10 minutes of every guest's experience. Oh. The first 10 minutes actually makes or break. You will decide in the first 10 minutes from the time you pull up, check in, walk to your room, and when you get into the room, I can tell you the first three things you'll do. What? View, uh -huh. check out the bed, and check out the cleanliness in the bathroom. Uh -huh. Focus on the first 10 minutes, and guess what? Your experience goes well. It's all about that psychology That's of first so impressions. That's so I think I do that when I go into a new room, because yeah. we stay in a lot of hotels. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot of shows experiencing a lot of popularity like this, where someone comes in, they fix a failing business or something that has trouble. Why do you think these shows are becoming so popular? Well, I think the whole idea of being rescued is an important element in our society. Let's face it, since 2007, the whole culture has been changed with the financial crisis. Mm -hmm. I think people can relate to the idea that people find themselves in trouble. A lot of our hotel owners, they put their retirements, they put their families on the line. The first episode, she puts her marriage on the line. Her husband walks out on her after two years saying that she loves the hotel more than she loves him. <laughs> 
<laughs> so talk about people being able to relate to the challenges of today. It, it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy what we saw. We saw single dads raising their boys in a hotel. We mm -hmm. saw a mother bring us in because mum and uh, dad and the son didn't get along. So these elements, I think people relate and mm -hmm. they like to know that they're not the only ones going through it. Okay, so uh -huh. where can we catch this show? Because I'm hooked. Travel <laughs> Channel. Uh, and again, we're on air. October 7th is our launch date mm -hmm. and at 10 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully we'll see everybody there. All well, right. Don't worry, we'll You'll be watching. See, we'll be checking in. All right. I love <laughs> I it. I like love that. it. <laughs> thank you. have to you make guys. sure we know where awesome. good places stay. So thank you so much. Cheers. You're thank very you welcome. So much. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.